Hi Scorpios, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your first week of May 2018 general reading. Uh, we are going to, this particular video is being filmed on the 2nd, so we'll say that this these are the energies from the 2nd to the 9th of 2018 of May. The energies I am feeling at this time is that someone is either hopeful or are confused when it comes to a message or someone who came in quickly that could have been younger than yourself. Uh, there was a cycle that was completed or will in the next couple few days feel like it's completed when it comes to a commitment, a partnership, etc. But the whole entire week is about long-term security and making sure that you are in control of your own path. You have the key to success this week, but there is some anxiety here. Okay, so I'm pulling a card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild to start out with. I'm asking Spirit to provide any messages that they could uh, offer to re uh, represent the entire spread here. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding their current life path here on Earth at this time as they move through the first week of April. 2018. Loving all that is and knowing without knowing. Those are a couple messages I just got. All right, so you guys have received the card Guardian of the Soul Family. And number 26 is 2 plus 6, which is 8. So it's kind of like round and round we go. Whatever this is, a lot of people deal with this in their life path. And it's pretty much ordinary, though it may not feel so ordinary. I'm going to read from the book to give credit to the author. You're being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving a relationship behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is a great soul love calling to you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfill. If you're struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you are being helped by the divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication and enriched experience or the realization that you have traveled as far as you can together. And know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled at this time. The guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place in present relationships unfolding and attracting the right relationships for your future growth and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. And warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all. As we become more than we are when we are alone. <clears throat> so I feel like someone's kind of wondering, do I send a message? Or how do I take a message? Or how do I work out a situation with someone who may be younger than me. Uh, something has definitely gone full circle. It is completing its cycle and it is tied to some sort of commitment relationship. I mean, this could be a business, a, a, a family situation. You are content, you are secure long-term, don't worry about that. So if changes are happening, know that you do own the key to success in this situation, however, this is applying to your specific path, and yet it's going to leave you kind of anxious, wondering, where do I go next? Do I stay here? Etc. Etc. So I'm going to bring in the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. I'm going to do a circle spread and 
We'll see which areas by which Spirit would like to offer any information and or guidance. For those of you listening, remember you're always guided to these videos to hear the perfect information and messages that Spirit wants to express to you. You do not land on any of our videos on accident. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding Scorpio's life path here on Earth at this time on into and through the first week of May all the way till about the 9th or 10th of May, okay? Because these energies fluctuate. See, a lot of you, I'm feeling, want to have some sort of peaceful resolution to a situation. You don't want confrontation. Yeah, in your thoughts, some of you have maybe already dealt with enough confrontation that you're now to the point where you're like, you know what, I am so sick and tired of the suffering. In your relationship sector, maybe there's been some rivalry or maybe in the next two, three, four days from watching the video, you bring a situation from frustration to actually kind of walking away and leaving it in a peaceful way. If that's not how you're thinking, that is spirit's way of saying it is the best way to handle the situation. Creatively, take your passion and your lust and your desires and your joy and turn your suffering into happiness again by doing something very creative, by connecting out with other people, maybe even by helping give to charity or helping with other people. In your actions position, you are right on cue when it comes to stepping into a new direction. You are right on cue when it comes to walking away from a commitment that wouldn't commit, that left you wondering and worrying and contemplating all the gosh darn time. So the world is opening up this portal and you can leave a situation with peaceful resolution energies. Contemplate, am I going to take this path here of, you know, maybe a lot of passion and desire, but always confusion? Am I going to follow this path here of seduction by which I will eventually get devoured? Or will I step into this beautiful path here of sunshine and grass and start manifesting what I want in my path so that I'm not led by those around me in some way. So in your emotional aspects position, there are regrets when it comes to the lover's energy. Maybe there was a connection in the past and you were waiting for that to come back. And now it's you're sitting in a position of suffering saying, you know what, I'm tired of this cycle. I'm going to follow Spirit's advice and step into a new path, a new beginning, create something more exciting in my life for myself. Subconsciously, spirit saying, decide what it is you want to dedicate yourself to and that will lead you away from the rivalry. That will lead you away from the suffering. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, whomever's energies I'm reading for this video and thank you for writing me and letting me know those of you who these were your readings in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, you gotta recognize that the nostalgic memories are empty. You've got to recognize that now is a time for a peaceful resolution. That you can play and connect and have fun with others without getting so caught up that you have to carry energies of regret and suffering. Someone has completed an experience in order to learn this particular lesson. And Spirit's offering you the inner strengths of the chariot energies. As you step into this new path, as you bring something to a peaceful resolution, as you set new goals for yourself with the chariot energies, Spirit is helping to guide you into a path by which there will be great success. They are offering you a key to success. Do not be afraid to step into and through the doorway of a new beginning in creativity, with creativity. You are going to come out of suffering. You are going to find yourself in the first couple few days if you follow the message of Spirit saying and dedicate yourself to a project, an idea, a gift, talent, or skill to helping others, giving to charity. You will finally find this solace and come over the edge. And when you do, there's going to be great reward. There's going to be a lot of love sent your way. And automatically, some of you, not all of you, 
So I feel like some of you are going to back away from someone that you're unsure about. And of course, as soon as you pull away from them, they come towards you. And you find yourself feeling defeated and oppositional with your own thoughts. Do I make a deci decision? Do I not make a decision? Here I am. I was moving forward. I'm content. I'm good. And then boom, this person shows back up. But I'm starting to give appreciation to spirit about my wonderful connections in my life. I'm starting to understand that love is all around us. We are in love as we connect with others. We don't need to get into the area of passion unless it is applicable to doing things the right way and I don't know why I had to say that but <clears throat> with the web energies it's about the web that you have woven and all who are in it with you and now taking and making a decision in and recognizing that whatever decision you make will affect those around you one way or another so if you are in a position where you're worried about finding a peaceful resolution, the best thing you can do at this time is to step into your own individual path and to work on a creative project and to center yourself, to take steps to start a new beginning, to free yourself from whatever it is that you believe is restricting you. Spirit's saying that you are in a delusioned mindset if you think that you're stuck. They're even offering you the green man energies to step into a new path of creativity and abundance. And they're saying that when you recognize the flow, you will recognize as well that that is the path that is meant for you at this time. By the end of the next uh, May, May 7th, 8th or 9th, some of you, not all of you, may come into connection with someone who has fire in his chart. He's older. This is a masculine energy. Could be male, female, whatever, however it applies. This is about setting goals, reaching those goals, manifesting new things, uh, continuing to reach and set new goals for yourself. Either you guys are meeting someone who has earth, uh, fire in their chart, Sag Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising, or you are setting new goals for a new direction so that you can bring an ending to a connection that just wasn't happening. And you can see she's facing him. So maybe for some of you, you're going to be looking back saying, I have the key to success in my life now as I let go and bring an end to someone who has fire in their chart, Sag Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. Because there's something new in my life that I'm excited about that I know is my talent, my skill, and I know that it has enough potential that I can now courageously with spirit's assistance step into a new direction by which there will be great financial gain where by which my wishes are going to come true when it comes to money and then I can start to enjoy my own adventures I can ask spirit for what it is that I truly want them to fill my cup with that could be overflowing with love and abundance and prosperity and happiness and joy and etc so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck a solid foundation the High Priestess is guiding you to follow a wish by which you can manifest great stability. Action may come quickly, as quickly as you guys start taking the steps. So if you don't know where to start, like I said, start with uh, crayons. I know a gentleman that started with crayons and he made them look like oil paintings and he ended up selling them for tens of thousands of dollars on the internet and... Um, he can now take that sole purpose, that gift within, and he will always be financially secure, stable, and be able to share his gift to help raise money for others, to give it as gifts to others. So therefore, he will never feel empty when it comes to fulfillment of self. I hope that makes sense. So we're starting out with peaceful resolution. Opening your heart, Scorpio, there you guys are. Speaking your truth, listening to your intuition. Spirit is guiding you to a position by which everyone can come to a peaceful resolution, where you can come to a peaceful resolution with the situation. And understand that an ending was imminent. Okay, a cycle has ended. And again, with the regret energies, this old party connection, this was meant to make you a stronger person. But it was not meant for you to slow down and be sad about. That's why Spirit's saying, appreciate the wonderful blessings that you have in your life and you will be able to let go of any energies of suffering. Because in your relationship sector, there seems to be this battle, this struggle. Maybe some of you are dealing with a difficult child. 
or someone who acts like a child. Maybe you're just trying to make a difficult decision about leaving some sort of suffering behind and how to go about doing that in a way by which there is a peaceful resolution. Creatively, some of you, not all of you, want to get together with others, want to party, want to have fun. Want to maybe even reignite passion. But in your actions position, Spirit's saying there is a new opportunity ahead and this is a new world. This has nothing to do with the old world. So pray to Spirit about what you want in this cup. Wow. This could be someone older than you guys. As your heart is open, you may meet someone who's also a water sign in this new path. As they may be stepping into this new path with you in your actions position. They may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Buster. So in your emotional aspects position, again, with regret, lay down the battle. Lay down the struggle. Go out the back door. Give thanks to the wonderful, beautiful things that you have in your life and let everything kind of remain in the friend zone this week. You need time to contemplate what it is you want to dedicate yourself towards or to. And I think, I think the decision this week is going to be easier than you think. Something is going to come in and happen and guide you away from nostalgic energies. And it has to do with financial abundance. Beautiful. So with the Nine of Coins energies, this is a feminine energy, sometimes not always, who's very independent, secure, happy, financially fulfilled. And in your inner strengths position, Spirit's giving you the strength to race forward into this new world, to take the steps you need to take, to make the right choices, to find success in this new world path where you have now understood love from the highest perspective with the King of Cups. You have now communicated maybe with someone who's gonna help for you to bring a situation to a, a calm resolution and to make a right decision. It's gonna help you to let go of suffering. It's gonna help you to let go of old energies of rivalry. You're going to come into solace in the first couple to the, maybe the third or fourth day of May 2018 because you're going to get to the truth of a situation. And that truth is that you are the love. As long as you give your heart to others in this situation, in the circumstance, and you continue to set goals for yourself, I think this whole situation will dissolve into a very peaceful situation. And yes, the steps you take to move independently in your path in a financial way, it will affect others, but it will also help for you to heal. The Queen of Wands does not give up. She sets goals and she meets goals and she does not give up until she finds out, until she gets to where she wants to be and then she starts to set new goals once again. Hmm. For some of you, you may be moving away and making a decision to leave someone behind because they or you are connecting with a fire sign. Sag, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And Spirit's saying, remember, you're never stuck. You're never restricted. You can make any decisions you so choose. We're offering this path in front of you to get excited about. Some of you may be not... All of you are going to be setting new goals and bringing an end to an old path. You're stepping into the path of financial abundance and security. A lot of people are holding on to old regretful energies and those energies are preventing them from finding their rewards, their blessings. In the first couple few days of May, Take time to think about, to plan, to do the research, to create an empire for yourself, to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, and focused about who and or what you do and do not want in your life. And then celebrate an ending instead of going into the energies of heartache because a path has ended. And from this difficult path, you're going to find that you are celebrating success in your life. 
you are building this beautiful business and hopefully you're very passionate about it you're getting the supplies you're trying something new you're stepping into this path and you're creative and excited For some of you, you're coming into the realization that someone that you wanted to connect with who had Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, is also with someone who is an, has Earth in their chart. And Spirit's saying, don't give up. Remember, when it comes to finances and creativity, as you send out messages, as you take those steps, the Spirit assists you with making the right decisions and finding success in your life. Your ship is going to come in. And what it is you're manifesting with the uh, Empress energies, they're also adding the Magician energies to bring you to the correct path ahead, which is the world path that we talked about before. Why are they bringing you into this new world path? Because there is a true love connection ahead for you guys that has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It's up to you to decide, do I want to make a good choice or a bad choice? Does someone around me from my past or who I have children with have something they need to deal with and why am I stuck with them why can't I make this difficult decision with what may be a Virgo well because you're still reminiscing you can get up and leave anytime but there's a lot of fantasy here there's faith and hope when it comes to someone who has air in her chart Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or this is you saying, please, dear Lord, Spirit, and guides, and angels, give me the strength of the Queen of Swords to speak my truth and to bring something to an end so that my wheel of fortune can move forward and my wishes can come true. Yes, if you've been worried about money, Scorpios, this week, you will find that there's a new opportunity, maybe even at a distance, and you should take that new opportunity and it'll give you the financial abundance and security that you want it will bring you balance in your life and then in the outcome position and by the 7th 8th or 9th of may 2018 we have this passionate energy two people learning from each other through each other and you looking at what you have left to travel with taking the time to rest and think about what how much energy you put into a situation that may have been your family life but spirit saying there's a better life ahead one filled with love and happiness and joy and contentment. Maybe a younger person has something to say about, you know, moving to a lake home. Maybe you're having to deal with someone from the past who's sharp with their words, who could have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I think some of you, not all of you, are packing up and you are leading yourself in a new direction you're setting those goals to manifest something that's much more fulfilling than trying to win a battle with someone who's sneaky and spirit saying as soon as you heal as soon as you start setting these new goals as soon as you start taking the steps into a new direction we will bring you your wishes come true but you need to know what those wishes are and you need to let go of anything tied to the past this is happening for a lot of people if you continue to drag the past into the future, you will sit there and not be able to enjoy this financial abundance, happiness, contentment, great fulfillment. Buster, quiet. So to clarify, I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed and we'll bring in uh, spiritual guidance for the week. We need to get rid of suffering. Maybe there's been a lot of partying. But there's an inability to make a choice. So make a choice on your own behalf because we cannot control those around us. And as you're dedicating yourself to a new project, a new idea, a new direction, know that that direction is going to help for you to uh, claim victory over this path and to move into the path of financial abundance and security. So a message is going to come or has come from someone a little younger or quickly and unexpectedly and you're trying to keep your heart open to the opportunity to just bring something to a peaceful resolution even though in your thoughts you may feel regret you may feel sadness this has been a lesson about your own self-worth do you want to sit in energies of rivalry and discontent unable to make a choice because that doorway is forbidden no matter how badly you want to enter that doorway it's blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you 
creatively. Some of you, not all of you, want to go into this passionate connection of having fun and, and partying. And the High Priestess of Fire, well, she's here to help you to take the right steps when it comes to connecting with someone or creating something at work. Maybe some of you are connecting with someone at work. By the 5th of May, and we have in the actions position, stepping into a new path, maybe for some of you, not all of you, with someone older than you who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but I also see the High Priestess of Earth here who's saying, because of this message, Spirit's going to help you to make the right decision about someone or some sort of offer and about stepping into a new path. Let go of regret. The battle is over. Look at this. Spiritual guidance says... Letting go emotionally. Contemplating what it is you want to dedicate your life path to. Knowing something's going to come in quickly and you have the ability to summon it into your path and everything tied to it through this message or the ability to recognize that it is not good for you. So in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, you are working towards financial security and replacing and filling these nostalgic empty cups with new ideas and goals by which you can prosper with. Listen not to what people are saying, but to their actions. Do they do as they say? Because eventually by the 8th or 9th of May 2018, you guys are going to be taking and making new steps ahead. You're going to be able to make new choices ahead. You're going to be able to clearly decide on a new path. And you're going to gain the obedience energies where you can take off that blindfold. At one point, you were clear about your boundaries. You knew what your goals were and you spoke your truth to others. But somehow, you've ended up with a blindfold on. So it's time to take the blindfold off. Know that you have the key to success in whichever area you so choose to step into this uh, week. And I do feel like if it's finances, it is time for you to come to the truth of a situation and find solace that a new path is yours. Vision it. Set down and write down what the vision of your new chapter of your life is going to look like as you step into a new beginning. Set new goals for yourself with the Queen of Wands energies and bring something to a conclusion. Some of you may find out that someone else you are talking to or connected with is in touch with a fire sign feminine energy, Sag Aries or Leo, and that's going to make you step into a new path, a new direction, and bring something to a conclusion. Uh, again, this is you setting goals, bringing something to an ending, remaining focused on a financial path. And they're sending in the High Priestess of Earth to help guide you when it comes to financial abundance and security. Wow. So in a three-card summary with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, this is a lesson in lust. Once the passion and the desire dissipates. What is the solid foundation about? Who were you as a child? And what can you do every day that brings back that joy? How can you start a new path and face your fears and figure out where it is that your heart truly belongs at this time? Hope, wish, and pray to spirit for a stronger self-worth because you have grown into this beautiful rose and you are not trapped. Your heart is open to love. Learn a little bit more about and write it down. What is the difference between love and lust? Because there's definitely a difference. And someone around you does not see love in the same perspective as you do. And you're going to be learning that about this person. And Spirit's giving you the strength to share your individuality with others. Because you're going to build the energies of great confidence as you let go of what does not serve you and step into a path that does very much. You are growing. You've only seen a fragment of yourself and of someone else. And it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to recognize someone probably wasn't telling you the truth. Yep, they're deceptive. Whoever wanted to know about that. So, to close, I'm going to pull a card from the Daily Guidance from your Angels Oracle deck by Dorian Virtue. And the card I'm pulling for you guys <laughs> is Daydream. Wow. Sometimes we get addicted to a daydream. 
But in this lesson of self-worth, you guys are going to recognize through a message that it is time to let go and that a doorway was blocked to protect you. And it was a good thing because financial abundance and security is ahead. So daydream about that instead. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the end. This is the seat of creativity. <clears throat> so for some of you, shut off the TV and for a little bit each night and sit with a candle and soft music and a pen and paper or pencil and paper and ask spirit questions. Write down any images, any thoughts, you know, give it a good 10 minutes if you haven't heard a message, but I think something is going to pop in your head and don't just push beyond what's popping in your head. It may not make sense at first, but after you have enough signs and images written down, go back and ask yourself, where did this come from? How does this apply to my path? How is it helping for me to see my future ahead? Because that's gonna give you the clarity and the focus you need to bring an end into one situation and to sit in the leadership position of financial abundance, security, and setting new goals, having your boundaries in um, speaking your boundaries and taking the steps to step into a brand new creative or financial path. For some of you, this is a very independent path. This is a self-business, self-owned business, selling something online that you can manifest. For others of you, it's about learning that you can stand financially in your own two feet and letting go of somebody who no longer serves you. All right, so if you'd like me to pull your personal energies and give you some of these answers, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com and the information is listed below. Thank you for stopping by. Take care and God bless.